this is question number five in this question you must show all the stages of your work uh, solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable the straight line l1 show in the figure uh, shown in the figure passes through these two points uh, one point is this one okay p and the other point is q so find the equation of the line l1 it means you need to find the equation of uh, this line l1 uh, for that you must find the gradient okay so first of all whenever you want to find the equation of tangent equation of normal or equation of line you need to find the gradient okay of that line so if you want to find the gradient of this line uh, this line is passing through point p and q uh, line l1 so you could find the gradient easily okay uh, how to find the gradient for this m you know the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay first of all you need to find the gradient so everybody knows at this level this is x1 this is y1 and x2 and y2 okay uh, substitute the value to find the gradient uh, once you substitute the values uh, so it will be 6 minus 9 divided by 10 minus this minus and this minus 2 makes plus okay minus and minus makes plus okay so it will be 2 so straight away you get the answer for the gradient 3 over 12 negative 3 over 12 so gradient of this line is minus 1 over 4 this is the gradient of this line i already found the gradient so i know that gradient equals to minus 1 over 4 and equation of line l1 equation of line l1 you can choose any one of the point like p or q so i'm choosing p through p y minus y1 x minus x1 now uh, substitute the values we know that this is y1 this is y1 and this one is x1 okay so y1 is 9 y1 is 9 and m is minus 1 over 4 and x minus x1 this minus and this minus makes plus okay so it will be 2 so the last thing uh, just only to simplify because you need to write your uh, equation of line into this form so y should be alone so better you take this value to the other side because it is negative 9 here if you move this value to the other side of the equation it is the mathematical rule uh, so it becomes positive and this value minus 1 over 4 will multiply inside you will expand the brackets once you expand the brackets uh, let's see what happened uh, what will be the simplified form so my answer will be y equals to minus 1 over 4x and minus 1 over 4 multiplied 2 gives you the answer minus minus uh, 1 over 2 because that 2 will be cancelled and this minus 9 becomes plus plus 9 okay <coughs> So you need to solve these two because they are unlike. So you can solve them together. There is no x value. These are the constant numbers. So you can solve them together. So y equals to minus 1 over 4 x and uh, better use calculator even though I know it directly. Mentally sometimes you can do it. Uh, but for the below average students, they should use calculator for solving these fractions. Okay. Uh, put as is on the calculator. Uh, minus 1 over 2 uh, plus 9 that will so you will get the answer po positive 17 over 2 so this is the required equation of the line l1 this is the equation of the line l1 okay passes through the origin and it is perpendicular to line l1 the lines l1 and l2 meet at point r so they are meeting at point r and they are perpendicular to each other okay these two lines so and also l2 is passing through the origin so this information we have so we can start this question like this because we know that l1 is perpendicular to line l2 okay 
so uh, you know that if two lines are perpendicular to each other uh, then the product of these two lines is equals to minus one this is the formula if you uh, one slope is given you can find the uh, uh, gradient of the other line okay for example if you want to find the gradient of the second line so it will be equals to minus one over m1 this is the formula actually basic formula for perpendicular lines as we know that uh, slope of the line l1 uh, is minus one over four therefore gradient of line l2 will be for line l2 what is what will be the gradient uh, it will be minus one over the gradient of the first line okay so gradient of second line will be equals to four after finding this uh, there is another fact that any line that is passing through the origin okay uh, this is equals to y equals to mx uh, basically, uh, we know that uh, equation of line is mx plus c, but here c intercept equals to 0 in this case when it is passing through, through the origin. So, our equation of line will be y equals to mx. So, for line L2, what will be the equation of line? So, we can write this formula uh, to find the equation of line L2 that will be equals to y equals to mx okay as per that rule so uh, what is the m2 here that is 4 and value of x uh, keep as is so this is the equation of line l2 for line l2 this is the equation of line l2 okay we found the equation of line l2 now we have two equations uh, one equation for line l1 this one is the equation of line l1 and this is equation of line L2. Okay, these are two equations. If you solve them simultaneously, this is the equation number one. Equation number one. And this one is equation number two. If you solve these two equations simultaneously, you could find the point of intersection. You know it. Uh, whenever two lines are intersecting each other, and if you solve these two equations simultaneously, we find the point of intersection. Okay. So, how to find point of intersection? Just equate these two equations. Okay. By equating these two equations. Equating. These two equations. Okay. So, what will be the answer? Uh, so you can keep as is 4x as is equals to the other line that is minus 1 over 4x and 17 over 2. So whenever there are fractions and you want to solve this equation, uh, best way uh, multiply with the highest denominator. Okay, uh, 4. 4 is the uh, biggest denominator here 4 if you multiply by 4 you will get rid of all denominators actually we are taking the lcm of these two so least common multiple for 2 and 4 is 4 so multiply by 4 to get rid of the denominator so it will be 16x equals to minus x and 2 multiply because here is 2 if you are multiplying by 4 4 is cancelled out by 2 so 2 2 multiply 17 gives you 34 okay and this bring this x to the other side so 17x equals to 34 and value of x equals to 2 you divide by 17 therefore we know that y equals to uh, 4x uh, so y will be equals to 8 okay uh, just plug in this value here this value here okay 2 multiply 4 is 8 therefore the coordinates of r will be 2 and 8. In part c, find the exact area of triangle OPQ. So, for this, you must uh, use uh, the coordinates what are given here. Uh, so, we know that this uh, O is origin, therefore, we can use here 0, 0 and uh, p is given in the question that is minus 2 and 9 and r we just found it that is 2 and 8 and q is also given in the question 
that is 10 and 6 okay so write all these um, uh, these points uh, on the diagram and now we need to find the area of this triangle what is the triangle here that is o p q so you can join p with o to draw the triangle no need to in fact but it is just for understanding join all these points and you will get the triangle okay this triangle is o o p and q and if you notice that this length uh, these two lines are perpendicular so it is making 90 degree therefore in this triangle this is the height height of this triangle or is the height so we know that uh, area of any triangle equals to 1 over 2 multiply base multiply height okay so plug in the values 1 over 2 if you notice in the diagram base is pq and height is o r so now you need to find the length of pq uh, and o r we know that uh, if two points are given we can use a distance formula uh, let me write it for you just as a reminder if two points are given like this x1 and uh, y1 and other point is b and it is x2 and y2 what is the distance formula how to find the length a b equals to square root of this x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay we will use this uh, formula here to find the length of each side uh, hopefully you remind uh, now uh, so we'll use this formula to find uh, the length of pq what is p and q so first of all you need to write pq what is take the square root we will subtract the x coordinates so it will be 10 plus 2 for sure minus and minus makes plus we take square of it and then 6 minus 9 we take square of it okay so this will be 12 12 square is 144 144 plus 9 144 plus 9 uh, gives you 153 okay so you can write 153 here for pq okay and then you need to find or because uh, there are zero coordinates so you can write directly uh, that will be 2 square plus 8 square square root okay so it will be 64 64 plus 4 will be 2 square root uh, 17 okay uh, if you use calculator calculator will give you exactly like this the answer okay uh, if you press equal with the calculator you can simplify this one we are not writing the answer in decimal form because we are going to find the exact area whenever there is a word exact write as is do not simplify as in into the decimals okay so this is uh, a very good point uh, you have to remember during the exam so if you put this value on the calculator calculator will give you the result 3 square root 17 okay so we got pq and or now you need to plug in these two values in this formula okay so use these two values in this formula okay so area will be equals to 1 over 2 multiply pq 3 square root 17 multiply 2 square root 17 okay uh, now uh, you can you could cancel this 2 and 2 and you know that 3 and uh, this will be 17 square root because 17 square multiply with each other it will be cancelled out and you get the answer uh, 51 okay so 51 uh, square centimeter is the exact answer for this part and question 5 is done by the way